Students, I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to learn a chapter from our social studies book. In the first session, we are going to learn about the Indus Valley Civilization, the timeline, some facts about the civilization, and a think tank. The chapter is Early Pakistan on page number 76. That means we are going to learn something about our early Pakistan that is before independence. Before we study the civilization in detail, let's check the timeline. It is said that in 7000 BC, many groups poured into the northern part of the subcontinent in order to settle down over there. There may be many reasons of their settlement as there would be food supply, as there would plenty of water, as there would be plenty of minerals for them to survive. In 3000 BC, many cities began to develop on the Indus Valley Plain. In 2500 BC, cities were the center of civilization. In 1700 BC, the civilization suddenly disappeared. Until in 1921, the ruins were discovered for Harappa and Monjotaro. Students, there is a think tank for you. Think out the answers to these two questions. The first one is, why BC and AD terms are used in history? Second question is, do you know what new terms are used in place of BC and AD? Indus Valley was located on the subcontinent of India which is now modern day northern India and Pakistan. It spreads to eastwards to Delhi and the northern part of Pakistan. You can see the map and you can see the picture of the subcontinent where India and Pakistan was considered as a subcontinent. Let's see the history of Indus Valley civilization. It is said that about 4,500 years ago, there was a civilized state in the Indus Valley. The two great cities were Monjotaro and Harappa. The people populating here were called Dravidians. They were the most civilized people in the world at the time. In 1700 BC, the civilization suddenly disappeared and it was discovered in 1922 by an archaeologist named Sir John Marshall and his team.